feel free to push play on the playlist. It's called Ecstasy. Um, and we will start, definitely make sure you have uh, two blocks and two pillows. We will start against the wall, please. So with this one, um, it's just legs up the wall. Um, and if you bring your, I'll walk us through it. Just um, if you have a bed or a couch, you can do that too. Um, <clears throat> I normally sit facing the wall and have at least one fist between my body and the wall and slowly lie down. You can have pillows underneath your upper back, your torso or not. So you can have as many props as you want. Can you please have the blocks nearby um, within hand's reach? Um, you may not need them right away, but it's nice to have them. And let's go ahead and set up. <clears throat> so with this one, we'll lie, um, lie down and allow the legs to go up the wall and kind of just hang out, enjoy. You could have one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Inhale, invite breath into the belly. Exhale. Inhale, belly and heart. Exhale. Continue breathing into your hands. Invite a natural breath rate to happen, meaning you're not imposing any breath. You're simply just becoming aware of the breath. If the feet want to splay out, they can splay out a little bit. No tension in the legs. It's as though you're inviting the blood from the, the circulation, so the blood from the feet, to soften down through the knees, thighs, and into the earth. As though you're getting a reset in your ankles, in your legs, in your blood pressure. Invite your low back to settle into the earth and just breathe. Enjoy having to do nothing. <laughs> Good. If ever you're um, wanting to open your arms out to a T, you can open your arms away from your body. The palms can be up and invite a gentle link to happen between the heart and the shoulder blades. As though simply having your arms open can release tension in the chest. And as the softening is invited to happen, the breath can access a little bit higher up on your lungs as well. Feel free to keep your legs exactly as they are. Feel free to have them a little bit wider or a lot wider. This is where the blocks come in or your puppy. <laughs> you can have one puppy under a thigh and a block under the other one or just have blocks underneath your thighs. <clears throat> if you have furniture around, it's all good. If you choose to have your legs wide, make sure it's in a place that is not straining, rather it's just inviting or coaxing an opening to happen without stress response. And breath is steady. You could keep your arms, if ever you wanted to reach your arms overhead, away from the wall, go for it. As though you're inviting a little bit of length between your hips and your ribs. Your ribs and your armpits. Often we store tension in all different parts of the body and it affects our posture, right? So it's like holding us up. In this moment, you don't have to hold anything. You're being supported by props, you're being supported by the earth, you're being supported by yourself, your own practice. So invite the posture to soften a little. Breath is steady. 
if ever you choose, um, you could stay exactly as you are, or you could bend the knees, bring the legs towards butterfly. The feet can touch kind of, sort of. It doesn't have to be a perfect butterfly. I'm just sharing that the knees are apart, yeah? Whatever feet feel comfortable is exactly what you need to do. Because it's not weight-bearing, you have a lot more range of freedom as to how your feet and your knees settle. Invite the pelvic floor to relax. Invite anything in the lower abdomen to let go a little bit. As though simply inviting it to soften would bring a little bit of breath there too. Good. You can keep your arms or maybe if they're overhead, you can grab opposite elbows. Whatever works for you, do that. Breath is steady. If your arms are overhead, it's um, invite, lengthen your armpits. This area stores so much stuff and we don't ever talk about it. <laughs> See if from the base of the armpits to the top of the shoulders, you can just inhale, stretch a little bit. And maybe you yawn, you initiate a yawning response. If that happens, that's just the body releasing something and the systolic blood pressure is um, stabilizing. <laughs> okay, last set, option one, keep exactly what you have. Option two, make a footprint on your wall, on your bed, on your couch, wherever you are. And it's like a squat rather than a butterfly where your knees are allowed to go to the sides, your feet are allowed to face at a diagonal. Please maintain your low back um, on the floor, meaning please don't arch the low back. It's okay if you do, it's just that right now we are um, inviting the body to rest rather than to chronically contract. So invite the low back to settle down. Breath is steady. If ever a position of the legs doesn't feel right, you could return to a previous one. Breath is steady. <laughs> Invite yourself to relax your jaw, your forehead, your eyes. Good. Breath is steady. Please stay as you are, last 10 breaths. Or if you want to start exiting, you can bring your legs together for the last um, set. Again, the feet are allowed to splay out. You don't have to contain anything at all. <clears throat> so gradually, instead of being a container for every single experience and thought and idea, right? Um, we start being a channel where things can move through um, and be processed, but not held, right? So we are, um, we are receptive, not sticky. <laughs> Become very aware of your feet, any sensation in the feet, ankles and calves, let it relax. Calves, knees, and thighs relax. Notice sensation. Good. Slowly, if your legs are apart, please bring them together and make a footprint on your wall, bed, or couch, whatever you're using. Invite yourself to rest on one side. Any side is fine. It's whichever side is available to you or intuitive to you. That's the side you need to do. <laughs> Take forever, notice how you feel, maybe you stretch. Press the hands down. And you can take way longer than here. So we're going to reorient. Breath is steady. Notice how you feel. 
And please know, um, know this type of posture. So you know, can legs up against the wall or perfect by themselves. So if everyone's stable, you're good. Okay, um, let's work on our blocks. Um, if you have them, please bring them in. We're going to now start working the sideline stretch. <clears throat> so in this one, please sit on your hand. Just please sit. And then open your hand and lift up your uh, right arm. Well, for you all, it'll be your left arm. Yeah, there we go. And bring your hand to your rib cage. Just wherever naturally it lands, that's where the block will go. Okay? And the block, you can have at the medium height or the lowest height. Um, recently, I've just been starting on the lowest height because why not? Um, so with this one, the block will be underneath our rib cage, and the top hand for you all will be the right hand. Did you? Okay. So um, please lie on your left side. So your left side hip is on the ground, and as we lie down. <laughs> As we lie down, the rib cage is on the block. That way, the arm can thread through. Um, the other block can support the skull, and the top arm is over your ear. Okay. <clears throat> if ever you prefer to use a pillow as well as a block, you could have a pillow under your head and the block under your hand. So then, at that point, we're talking three blocks: a block under your side ribs, a pillow under your head, and. Um, the top arm on the block. Whatever makes sense. Inhale, imagine you're still touching your ribs, but this time you'd be you're touching your right ribs. Breathe there. Inhale. Exhale, free up the breath. The top leg can stay exactly as it is. If ever you choose to bend it or straighten it, go for it. It's your body. Explore your range that makes sense for you. <clears throat> Again, it's just about creating a structure, a foundation underneath us. So um, we have this physical space of support and safety, and the body can open a little bit and let go of any patterns that are sticking. Imagine your top leg for you to your right leg. Imagine your top leg is very heavy and it's dragging away from your hip. Let that lengthen a little bit. So the hip doesn't need to tilt up towards the belly. Rather, there is room. Inhale from the hip to the rib cage. Breathe there. Inhale, lengthen. Enjoy your abdomen to help at the left time. Breath is steady. If there is any thinking going on, just maybe you say thinking and then move on. Thoughts need energy in order to keep going, so just don't plug into them. They're allowed to happen, there's nothing wrong with them. The minute you notice your thinking, just unplug and return to yourself your thought sensations the present moment. Breath is steady. Whatever you want to move the top leg, we're on the last part of it. Go ahead, you can move it back, you can move it forward, you can move it exactly as it is. Sometimes it takes us a while to find something that's comfortable. And then you breathe it straight up. Steady. The top arm that's on the block, can you relax any gripping that's happening? So instead of the hand holding the block, the hand is silent on the block. Just like your entire body is settled. Maybe you swallow and just invite the body to go to where the relaxation is from. Please, um, if the two remaining, please, please stay longer. If you're ready to come out, press the left hand on the floor in front of you, the right hand on the floor in front of you, and make your way up. You can look down towards the mat. You can come up. Okay. 
you could use the exact same props and just look in the other direction and go. Because I'm teaching the class, I'm going to shake the blocks, but you can do them exactly as they are. Second five. They're resetting as I am. There's a block under the wrists, a pillow for the head, and a block for your head. So it rests your right side on the pillow, rest your elbow, make your way down so your ear can rest on the pillow. Up on over towards the block. The block can be higher, closer, further. Make sure you're somewhere where um, you can be restful. If the body gets a bit restless, please listen to it and don't ignore it and adjust what you need to adjust. You can then simply walk higher toward the arm here or lower to the arm here. And if it's a little bit harsh, you can always use a bolster or a pillow. Inhale, invite breath into the right upper lungs, the side lungs, and the left exhale. Your entire left side body is long. Invite space between your hip and your wrist. Inhale, lengthen any areas that are chronically contracted. Even if it's just one percent, give it another option. The top leg can stay or it can move in any direction. It can bend, it can straighten, whatever you need to do. This is so anything that's been going on, envision yourself driving the car and the windshield gets dirty. Right? So from the inside, can you breathe? Clean up, clear up any residue. So the breath clears it up. The breath is like the water for the windshield wiping, right? So this impact. Widen any gripping and exhale out for child. Even if it's just an imagination. Press your head up a lot. Exhale, ear towards your shoulder. The hand just happens to be there. You can stay or do anything else you want with the opposite hand. It can go to the side. It can go behind you. If you close your eyes, sometimes the body naturally invites a different position with the chin or an exploration of movement. Find the one that works for you. Return, inhale, exhale, switch it up. See if you can lift your head taller each time, hand on the head. And the hand just happens to be there, exhale, ear towards your shoulder. Do whatever you want with the opposite arm. And feel free to explore a little bit further, higher, lower, back. 
And then if you invite your eyes to close, the feeling sense can guide you a little bit. Either you stay or for a little bit. I randomly started doing this in the morning. I started doing neck circles with the students. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, let's do neck circles. You need a uh, chin in to the side, back and to the side. And do that five or so times. Don't count. There's no need to count. Good, pause, other side. Let's bring a block underneath our upper back. <clears throat> so with this one, um, you can have. <laughs> I just started closer and closer to the camera. Let's see what's practicing. So the block will go um, right underneath our shoulder blades, um, and then we'll have another block available for our heads. Okay. So we have a block for the upper back. See it. So and then one for our head. You can open your arms to your face. Okay. Or again, under the legs, you can do whatever you want. For the first while, I just keep my knees back. Your arms may be practice arms. Notice you can breathe into the center of the chest. Inhale. And widen through the collarbones. They are. Use two to hold opposite elbows over your head. Let whatever's on the floor or blocks be weighty. It's allowed to be heavy. If ever you choose to straighten the legs, you can. Inhale, trust the support you create in this moment. Breathe steady. Relax your mouth, the four corners of the eyes, center of the brain. Whatever you need to adjust your arms, please do so. And you can acknowledge the breath as though the breath is breathing you. No need to control it. Making a micro adjustment that you need. Welcome. Stay a lot longer if you choose. 
If you are with me, return your arms and your thighs. Knee your thighs, bend the knees. Feel free to rest one arm on the mat, on the floor, and roll over. Press the bottom hand down. Lift yourself up. Exhale. Exhale, notice how you feel. Left hips on the spada, Konasana, forward ankle pose. Now, butterfly pose. With this one, please bring your blocks nearby. We're going to do a variation of this. So make sure you have room in front and then uh, allow the side. If you're listening to the playlist, it's really, really good. Okay, anyways, butterfly pose. The legs can be quite long. This one, let's call it diamond. Um, have the blocks in front of the shins, that way we have options in case we want to use them, there they are. So please hold the shins, W, inhale, lift the heart. Stay or exhale, walk it forward, more forward. Pause, notice there's blocks nearby if ever you want to stack them and rest your head on them, okay? You don't want them, don't use them. You can also use your own fist. If ever you feel gripping on the outer knees, that's your body saying, please reconnect and realign. Um, then reset. If you feet higher, uh, closer towards you or further from you. The entire back body is invited to lengthen and widen. Breathe into the back of the legs, inhale. And exhale. Everyone can use practice with their hand animals. Um, if you watch your your old baby breathe, <laughs> whenever I watch Zion breathe, I can see where breath accesses his body. His breath moves his lungs in and out. His breath moves his shoulders a little bit. Invite that into your body. So inhale, invite the breath to freely move your ribcage, your lungs. Maybe it feels exaggerated. Scale it back 10%. If ever you need to adjust anything, the hands can stay, or maybe the hands go behind you. Make them press down and usher you forward. Breath is steady. See if you can also breathe into the side of the lungs. And so any tension that has built up there is just an adaptation, it's not permanent. And in this moment, you can invite it to adapt in a different way. So inhale, breathe into the sides of the lungs, underneath the armpits. Exhale. Good. Maintain your awareness of the side ribs or the back ribs. And bring your awareness lower down your body toward the kidney, so low back to the waist. Way right around there. Inhale, breathe. And just invite any gripping to soften a little bit. Option one, please stay as you are. Option two, press the hands down in front of the shins, fingertips. Inhale, rise. Exhale, keep your feet, bring your hands next to you, same, same, just shift your hips a little bit closer. This might be a more familiar butterfly. Same thing, you can hold the shins, the blocks are on your back. And exhale, fold. You could put blocks or pillows on top of your feet and rest. You could choose not to. Whatever works for you, do that. And again, um, this isn't necessarily a flexibility class. So make sure whatever you're doing isn't to become flexible, at least in the moment. Right now, it's simply just to allow yourself to rest and digest and place yourself in positions that have alignment and encourage 
an opening in the in the system, right? So our physiology can settle without undue stress. And just breathe. We already know about the back, the ribs, the waist, the kidneys. All of this is supple and breath and has breath. See if you can also become very aware of your throat. If there's any gripping pattern in the front, see if you can settle it. Maybe it's taking a deep breath and open mouth exhale. And your name is settled as you breathe. If ever you want to shift your hand, you can in any direction. I'll give us a different one. The right hand can press your right thigh down. The left hand can press the left thigh down. And then you can make them forward. If ever you prefer, the hands can be further back and the forearms or elbows rest on the thighs. Breath is steady. As we are aware of the throat and we invite it to lengthen, we also become aware of the size of the throat, the size of the neck. If there's any gripping, tuck the chin slightly and let the neck lengthen. Thought that arises is welcome to keep passing by like clouds in the sky. <clears throat> they shift the energy for a second and then they keep going. If ever you want to stay longer, you're welcome to stay longer. If you're ready to back off, please return your fingertips next to the feet. Straighten your arms. Last set. Bring your hands by your hips. We lift and shift. Exhale. This one, the feet are very close, as close as is useful for you, meaning there's no pain in this. Same thing. And now, exhale, fold. You can bring your hands on blocks. Bring your elbows on blocks. You can do whatever you need. Breath is steady. If any discomfort arises in the ankle, listen to the ankle. Okay, then you just back off and Either move, probably most likely move your foot a little bit forward from the belly button. <clears throat> and then so, in this practice, we are tapping into our nervous system, specifically the parasympathetic. So, the part of us that's responsible for rest and digest, for processing, metabolizing, and um, allowing things to move through, right? So invite yourself to fully um, let go of any gripping and to fully relax and enjoy the moment. And if there's anything in your body that's saying, this is not, uh, this is not feel right, please listen to it and start creating imprints in your own psyche and your own body. You take care of yourself and listening to what you need. Right, so as we start accruing time to take care of ourselves, our confidence can arise and it's often we feel our own health can arise. <clears throat> you can stay or you can shift your hands in any direction. If you like your hands back, just bring them back. It can be on the side, it can be on the floor. I'm going to keep mine on the block. Room the last eight breaths. Notice where breath is readily accessible. And see if from that access point you can widen your access a little bit. Not because you're trying so hard, just because you simply became aware of that. You're always welcome to stay way longer. 
If you're ready to come out, slowly lift the chest, lift the head, plant the palms down, straighten the arms. Exhale, hug in, let it go. Make any natural movement that you need. Um, we're going to shift towards five legs. <clears throat> so legs straight. We just did a lot of bending and stuff. Find a comfortable place where you can widen your legs, not as wide as possible. And slowly just have a box in front of you. You can point the feet, you can flex the feet, and find somewhere where you are relaxed. Okay? Stay or um, actually bring the elbows, the blocks back. Stay or bring the forearms onto of the blocks. Yeah, and see if you can press down and get long in your upper body and usher the heart forward, tuck the chin. Lengthen the back of the neck. The forehead is parallel to the floor neutral. Yeah, the tight here. I'm listening to this book called Essentialism, and it's just like um, about doing less <laughs> and only doing what is essential. <clears throat> if we were to practice it here, start tapping into um, all the areas that we can just say, it's okay, I think right now we're just doing, we're just holding, right? So option one, please stay. Option two, rise up. Look over your left leg and turn your left leg. You can have the blocks with you. Inhale, same, same, different. Rise. The buttocks may want to lift, but please keep it down. Uh, press the blocks down and now lift the chest. Stay, or you can bring your forearms to the blocks. <clears throat> and so in the book, Essentialism, um, I'm very, very new to it, but I'm just starting it. I started it yesterday. And it talks about how many of us, or he, he was talking about himself, uh, felt very overworked and underutilized. And so this tendency to do, 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 yet not really tapping into the source that, or the work that he wanted to do. Right? And so let's take it out of his story and into our body. Notice what parts of our bodies are chronically um, working for us, and can you invite them to chill out a little bit? <laughs> See if you can rest your right buttocks, rest your right calves, rest the brain. Okay, stay or rise up, inhale. Return to center, just like a flush. We're not gonna stay here long, but it's just kind of nice to reset center before we go to the other side. And so what he did, um, I like story time sometimes. Um, please rise up, inhale, look over your other leg. We're on the blocks. The blocks can be as high as you want, as close as you want. Belly in, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold towards the side. <clears throat> Keep your buttocks down. And so um, a way that he expressed what he did is he, <laughs> he bought himself space. He started giving himself the time and the mm, priority for himself to start saying no to certain things that weren't useful for him and that didn't make his heart sick. And so what happens when we allow ourselves space to feel, to process, um, or to do what it is that we need to do, is we start acquiring and tapping into this tremendous potential um, that is brewing underneath, that is under, underground, not accessed. Please pause, inhale, rise, back off a little bit, cross center on the last side of it. You can stay or fold. The blocks can be further or lower. However you need, we're in the last 10 breaths. So it's not about not working. It's not about not investing. It's not about not saying yes to opportunities. It's about saying yes to the ones that you want to do. And 
um, investing in the, he calls it the right activity, but only you know it's right for you. Okay. And it's about doing less and doing less better. Just see if there's any part of you in this moment that is overworked and invited to come back. Start asking us to inhale a little bit, exhale a lot. Keep it your tail. In. We're going to slide in. So you can hug the knees and round the back. Inhale. Exhale, stay rounded, tuck the chin. You can press the knees into the arms, arms into the knees. Make any wiggles that need to happen. And we're shifting towards our back. So we have three more blocks underneath our low back. Um, you can stay on the center. If you have a sensitive back, you can also have um, a pillow. <clears throat> so with this one, we lie down, press the foot down, and slide the block underneath our upper back. Uh, to the lower back. Mm -hmm. you can stay in your arms at all that makes sense for you. Inhale into the center of the heart. Exhale, stay there. Okay. Inhale from the center of the heart. Expand to the to either shoulder. Exhale. Like a channel of energy or an irrigation system that allows things to flow more freely. Invite the collarbones to widen. Breath is steady. You could stay if ever you wanted to straighten one leg, do it. It doesn't matter which. And it's okay for the leg to splay out. If you feel the low back, um, you can um, back off a little bit, reset the block a little bit more towards the outer hip. Breath steady. Okay. We are aware of our heart, shoulders, and collarbones. See it from the heart to the extended leg, that hip and lengthen it out. Exhale, keep it spacious. Good. If you chose to straighten one leg, you can always stay. If you're with me, please bend it. Other leg is straight. The leg is allowed to splay out. The leg is allowed to shift in the direction it needs. Again, whatever leg is extended, that hip, from the heart to that hip, get long. Exhale. Breath is steady. Notice your belly button and heart. Inhale, invite space there, attention, awareness there. Exhale, clear up this energetic space, this physical space. If you have one leg straight, you could stay, you could bend the knees, or you could straighten both legs, last set. If it feels comfortable in your body to do so, please do it. If it aggravates anything in your system, please don't straighten. Because remember, again, we're imprinting experiences in our body that are soothing, that are kind, that are receptive to our needs. Make sure you listen to what it is that your body needs. 
If you're not sure, just bend the knees. And settle back into the back end of the body. All of these postures, um, well, this one, can be held a lot longer. So if ever you just find something that lets you breathe very slow and a slight smile may come to your face or just soften into your brain, please feel free to stay longer, okay? Because I'm leaving the class, I'm going to keep going, but you are welcome to stay longer. If you are with me, bend both knees, press the feet to the mat. Press down, inhale, lift the hips. Remove the block from underneath you. Go back down. Okay. We're about to twist. You have the block nearby in case you want it under the thighs or between the thighs. Press the feet down, shift the hips as far to the left as you can. Let the knees fall right. If there's a dog, a bolster, or a cushion near you, you can rest your thigh on it. Keep resting. The arms can open to a T or not. Feel free to look towards the ceiling, towards the left, whatever works. Inhale from the center of the heart to the top hip, press it steady. Exhale, settle the hips down. You can keep your arms or the left hand, the left arm, can reach by your ear. As though you could lengthen any gripping from the left armpit shoulder to the ribs to the hips. And in between, you notice your abdomen looks long. You notice you can access breath into the left lung. Or you want to shift your top leg, whether straight or higher or lower, please do so. Any variation on the last half of your set. The arms can be in any way you want to be holding opposite elbows over your head. Shoulders settle down, so does the rest of your body. Okay. Again, you're welcome to stay longer if you're with me. Return your arms closer towards your torso. Lift the top knee, make a footprint. Inhale, lift and shift. Find your center. Exhale, hug both knees in. Make any movements or stillness that you need. I'll guide us through a stillness, well, a little bit. You can hug your knees, inhale. Exhale, stay or tuck the chin, lift your head. As much as you're hugging your knees in, the knees are pressing into the hand, arms. Back up, inhale. Other side, you can press the feet down, lift the hips up, inhale. Shift the hips towards the right. Exhale, let the knees fall left. If you have block or pillow and um, you want to use them, you can put them underneath or between your thighs. Arms can be to a T. From the center of the heart to the shoulders, as wide as the inhale. The entire right side body 
is available to breathe into from your right shoulder armpit to the bed of your head. From the right rib to the right hip, get one. Exhale. And breath is steady. If ever you want to shift your arms, like a cactus arm. Shift those arms, however you know, use these arms to your You can look in any direction that makes sense to you. And as a resting animal breathes, one notices that there is no gripping. See if we can tap into that natural wisdom where our breath moves muscles, moves the skin. Or something feels really right, please stay. If you choose, you can hug elbows. Slowly, if you could stay or start backing off out of the pose, lift the right knee up, inhale, make a foot press. Lift the left knee, lift and shift. Exhale, return to center. You can make any movements from your back. You can hug the knees in. You can be still or rock side to side. Whatever intuitively comes through is fine. Say it as you are, easing yourself out of it. And before you start um, preparing for the next one, which could be our last pose. Mm. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, I think I think we can do both. We'll do both. Um, well, let's go into a supported bridge pose. So with this one, we support the entire legs. Um, it could be all of your pillows, the length of your legs. Right. So it's going to be a long placement of your pillows and you can rest that way. If you want more of a box spring or a heavier, excuse me, a sturdier positioning, you could have blocks underneath the, the pillows. It could be called Stonehenge. <laughs> but um, because it's along the length of the, the legs, I don't use them just because I only have two blocks. Of course, if you had six blocks <laughs> or four, you could do that. But yeah, let's just um, settle the feet onto it. Um, Mm -mm. You could bring your uh, thighs onto the pillow, thighs onto the pillow, so the entire leg, knees, ankles are supported. This could be your finishing pose. If it feels really light and you have blankets and you want to get very comfortable, please do that. <clears throat> Slowly lie back. And I'll just set the timer. Um, we'll do three minutes each pose, or you could be here for six minutes. Okay, the arms could be to a T, the feet can splay out. Again, we're returning to this awareness that we can influence, impact, and support our nervous system in a reset. So when our feet and our knees are over our hips, we're shifting the circulation just gently, slightly and providing a space for any inflammation in the lower limbs to reset a little bit, to flush out gently. The arms could be to a T if you feel comfortable or you prefer to have one hand to the heart and the belly, and it's a nice seal for you. 
feel free to do that. As we lie here, we also become aware, not just of the front body, the chest and the belly, but also maybe the side belly. See if you can allow your body to breathe wide, not just forward and back. So your multidimensional breath, the entire circumference of your being is invited to breathe, is invited to settle, is acknowledged. The forehead and the eyes can relax. The eyes and the jaw can relax. And the center of the brain is soft. If you had an off button, go ahead and press it. Please stay here if this feels amazing. Three more minutes. If you choose to do the upper body variation where the upper body supported, please bend the knees off of your pillow and rest on one side. Take your time, press the hands down. Same exact thing, but now the pillow's under your upper back. Um, maybe just one. Uh, if you choose, of course, with this one, you could have box spring underneath your pillow to make it slightly higher, yet soft. Everything else is the same. So now the um, pillow supports the entire torso. You can bring your sacrum to the pillow or to the block and lie back. The arms can be to a T, the legs can widen and settle. Absolutely nothing to do. I'm here with you, but I won't speak for the next two and a half minutes. Take rest.
you can stay as long as you want. If you're with me, go ahead and bend the knees. Inhale. Stretch the arms. Exhale, rest on your side. Press the hands down. Take your time. Take forever. And then inhale, sit up. Exhale, cross your legs in a way that's useful. Palms touch. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, invite the ears, shoulders back over the hips. Palms touch. Notice how you feel. This is the practice of restoring the quality of our work, the quality of our body, the quality of our state, and just resting in a space that is soft, that is here, that is constantly observing and acknowledging that it's okay to rest, acknowledging that it's useful to restore and to reset. Thank you so much for sharing your morning and practicing. Namaste. Happy day. Hi, darling.